I'm gonna have a taste right now. See how silky smooth that is. I think I burned my mixer up. It's so good. Hi, I'm B-Boy Bill, and this is How to Cream Honey. So last week we were talking about decrystallized honey, and I'll put the thing up there so you can find that video if you haven't seen it. But basically that same winter I was dealing with crystallized honey, I was thinking to myself, there's got to be a better way to store this honey for the winter. So I was poking around doing some research and what I found out was there's this thing called creamed honey. And I wasn't exactly sure what creamed honey was, but I was willing to give it a go. Now the biggest problem for me making creamed honey was they were talking about this seed honey and I didn't have any seed honey and I didn't know where to get any seed honey and I kind of had this idea that I didn't want to mix somebody else's honey that I didn't know what they did to it. I don't know how they kept their bees and I wanted to make sure that I had pure honey. First thing we need to talk about is the mixer and this one here my wife bought one just like this a couple years ago when she got into bacon and it worked great for cream and honey. The problem is those brownies tasted so good she was making. I went and decided she needed a KitchenAid, one of those big fancy mixers, and got her one of those for Christmas. Well, my wife decided to donate the old one, and I didn't think about it at the time because I'd already done my creamed honey for that year, so I wasn't worried about it. Turns out those big fancy KitchenAids aren't very good at creaming honey. And I think it has to do with these, these mixer blades. They just don't seem to work the same on the KitchenAid. It's only got one giant one, so I don't think it smashes it around to get that crystallized honey working right. Either way, I didn't have any crystallized honey last year, and I decided to break down and buy another mixer. This is the cheapest one, but it works great for creaming honey. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to work. The first thing we're going to do is add about 50% of our liquid honey to the bowl. Once we have that liquid honey in, we're gonna go ahead and put the same amount of crystallized honey in. And I use about 50% of each. I got most of that crystallized honey in the bowl, so we're ready to roll. Just put your mixer down in there, turn it on. Hey guys, this is another video in that honey series I was talking about last week. So if you haven't subscribed and you like honey, you probably want to do that now. Make sure you click that little notification thing. That'll let you know when I post the next video. I have a few more videos coming out about honey and what I've done with honey. A couple tips on the mixer here. Don't run it at full speed when you just start because the uh, motor started making some weird smells and I uh, may have saw a little smoke, but other than that, everything seemed to work out great. I started the mixer on the lowest setting and then gradually worked it up. Another thing is you can start the bowl out in the center. It puts less pressure on the, the motor when it's in the center, and then you can move it out to the sides as you get going. Well, this took about an hour run, and the only thing I did in the meantime was scrape the sides and the edges and get that honey off the bottom and sides, so it all got mixed in. And of course, the most important part is uh, taste testing. When you first start out, it's gonna taste like sand in your mouth. That's the crystallized honey. But as you keep going, those crystals will get smaller and smaller and smaller, and eventually they'll feel like almost like a powdered sugar or something in your mouth, something real fine. And that's when you know you're done. Last step of the process, we're gonna get the honey in this jar. See how silky smooth that is? I'll try to get a close up, but uh, man, it looks good. I've given this to uh, beekeepers that never had it before, and they loved it. Well, it's been a couple days, and I wanted to pop back in here and give you a cream honey update. This is what it's going to look like after a couple days. You know, the first day there, we poured it out into the other jar. It wasn't that thick, but now we're looking nice and thick here. So this is the uh, consistency of your creamed honey after a couple days. It's nice and thick, barely runs off at all. Good for putting on toast. It'll keep getting thicker after a couple days, too. And if you tasted this right now, it is silky smooth and very tasty. In fact, I'm gonna have a taste right now. It's so good. If you guys haven't tried creamed honey, make sure you give it a go. Well, there you have it, creamed honey in just under an hour. You might be saying, well, that's not very quick. And I'd agree with you, but if you did it the old fashioned way, put that seed honey into some liquid, stirred it up, you'd be waiting for a while. And I don't know exactly how long, because I've never done it that way, but it might be a future video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I'm B-Boy Bill, we'll see you next time.